Well, the Haley Dandoran murder trial is finally underway. Today was the first day of the trial. Authorities say Dandoran and her boyfriend at the time, Stephen Brown, killed a woman on Oahu's North Shore back in 2017. Dandoran is accused of kidnapping and killing Telma Boyneville, as well as kidnapping Boyneville's daughter, who was eight years old at the time. KITV force Ali Duklo was there in court today and has the latest. The prosecution presented DNA evidence to back the claim that both Dan Durand and her ex-boyfriend Stephen Brown murdered Thelma Boyneville. A jury back in January found Brown guilty of all charges, and in that trial, Brown's attorney blamed the murder on Dan Durand. But now it appears it's Dan Durand's turn to point the finger at her ex-boyfriend. Who do you believe? Stephen Brown? or Haley Dandoran. Dandoran met Brown in August of 2017, months before the murder, and shortly after, Brown moved in with Dandoran. Her roommates, including her brother, insisted Brown leave the home after they noticed him abusing Dandoran. The defense pointing out Brown was Dandoran's first love, the then 20-year-old's judgment clouded by her affection for him. Dandoran and Brown ended up homeless together, the defense adding the abuse continued and was documented in court, leading to a 10-year restraining order. She lives in mortal fear of, of this guy, but she loves him. Matters of the heart. December 7th, 2017, the day of the murder. The defense admits Dandoran agreed to break into a North Shore home on Keiki Road with Brown to find food. Once in the house, the defense says the pair split up. Boyneville, who was paid to clean the home, enters and finds Brown, who the defense argues killed Boyneville by himself, calling on Dan Durand afterward. When Dan Durand entered the room, Brown ordered her to tie up Boyneville and place a bag over her head. The defense then claiming Brown threw a machete to the ground, just missing Dan Durand's head because she wasn't moving fast enough. Dan Durand, the defense says, complied out of fear for her own life. She understood that Stephen Brown was was making things pretty clear. If you don't comply, you may be next. But the prosecution argues Boyneville's DNA was found on both Brown and Dan Durand, sharing the harrowing details of the deadly injuries Boyneville suffered. She had been stabbed in the throat and her skull cleaved open by a machete that lay nearby. After Boyneville's death, the prosecution says the two kidnapped her then eight-year-old daughter, Makana, binding her to a bed and taping her mouth shut. The eight-year-old girl sat terrified at the foot of that oversized bed. The pair then fled the scene in Boyneville's family truck, later found in Mililani. The prosecution reports Dan Durand was wearing Makana's backpack, Boyneville's earrings that her husband had made for her, and charged Boyneville's debit card at the area Walmart and Taco Bell. We'll have continuing coverage of this trial here on air and online at KITV.com. Ali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.